Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine Wallace here, Cake Philosophy. Over the last couple of weeks we have covered um, how to paint a cake um, with edible watercolours, how to make an individual beautiful flower of magnolia with sugar paste, and in this video, to finish off this kind of mini-series, I'm going to show you how to assemble a very nice branch of magnolia to either decorate your cake or just um, have it as a decoration in its own right. So see you back after 15 seconds intro. So these little green shapes I'm about to do, they to replicate the little green leaf buds that you see just picking through in the spring. Yeah, so that it makes sense for you what I'm trying to do. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do these leaves in the beginning, which only start to appear from the leaves. From the spring. Okay, so the next bit, um, I'm not sure what it called, probably Calyx, someone pointed it out, which is nice of them. If any of you know any other botanical names, please leave it, leave it in the comments. Um, so I just think it looks really, really nice on the branch, well, not necessarily in the cake, because on the cake you won't see it kind of thing, but on the branch it looks quite photogenic, I think. And also make sure you dust it to kind of give it a bit of a 3D. I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, with more details on how to make these little hooks and generally uh, more details on how to make little small things uh, in, you know, while you're trying to produce your sugar flour. So yeah, make sure you check it out. Внизу в описании я оставлю э, такую сноску о видео одного моего цветка, где много деталей, много времени уделено деталям, э, как резать, как делать крючки и так далее. When you're making a bud, it's not actually important how many leaves um, you, you have, just accommodate your middle. Um, and sometimes you might need to stretch a petal just to cover it in the way you like the look of it. Если нужно, растягивайте лепестки, чтобы нормально их расположить насчет этого вокруг этого центра. While I'm getting on with this uh, little buds, I just want to um, say. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and who comes back and watches my videos. I now have nearly 3,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. It's really, really, really exciting. And I absolutely mean it. If you were a YouTuber, you would know how exciting it is. So I have about 20 people to go to that 3,000. Do like if you like what I produce, my videos, my style of working and all the rest of it. Uh, do please subscribe and add likes, uh, it's always really, really nice. Вот, кажется, свободный момент сказать всем огромное спасибо. У меня уже почти 3000 расписчиков. Я очень-очень рада. Когда все говорят, мы рады, мы рады, но когда вы ютубер, это действительно на 100% мы имеем в виду, когда мы говорим 3020 человек, недостаточно. Это очень хорошие новости и очень приятно. Так что, если вам нравится мой стиль работы, подписывайтесь и приходите смотреть. Я вам очень рада. It's a good idea to lay out all your bits and bobs just to see that you like the way they positioned. Uh, obviously, if you have something on your cake, like I do, you need to correlate your flowers so they go in a flow with what's on your cake. A 
это неплохая идея, просто выложить все свои цветы э, и наметить, какую композицию э, вам э, хотелось бы. Если вы эти цветы делаете, чтобы поместить их на торт, и на торте что-то тоже есть, то нужно принимать во внимание, какое, что на торте и как, это, как эти цветы должны соответствовать в общем. If you're making this magnolia composition to go on a cake, bear in mind that it is very heavy for cake, so make sure you place it obviously in a straw uh, going through the entire cake, prefer preferably uh, a tall cake as in my case, because something like this would probably not do very well with a short 5-inch uh, tall cake. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind and accommodate the size and the weight of your flowers to the size and the weight of your cake. Кстати, о братьях. Эта ветка очень тяжелая, поэтому если вы ее делаете для торта, а не просто так, то очень внимательно относитесь э, к размеру вашего торта и к тому, как вы балансируете эту ветку на торте. In places where I want my branches to be um, jiggly and uneven, I just take a bit of um, gum paste and just kind of stick it on a branch and then cover it with brown tape. Uh, no, and this is how to secure brown tape to, to make it look nice and smooth. And also, um, you have these little elements on a branch where you'd want the branch to be thicker. So that's where I use gum paste as well. I use mastic to make and the texture of all these leaves, different moments of leaves, so that it looks more interesting, this leaf is big. So all that's left to say for me is I hope you enjoyed my little demo and I hope you inspired to make uh, one of these all to yourself. Um, thank you very much for popping in. Next week I'm going to be publishing a very short and very silly video on why I love using cold porcelain. Not very well known in UK but a um, very very useful tool if you like your flowers not just beautiful but also really lasting so make sure you subscribe and um, keep an eye on my channel and i see you again soon спасибо всем кто смотрел это видео если вам понравилось подписывайтесь и увидимся на следующей неделе